Watch this beautiful trading day of mine. Hi traders, a short recap of my trading session today starting with Tesla. Tesla is down 2.6% and I believe it's going to come down for a gap and go in case it moves under 720. So waiting for it to move under 720, watch the buyers here over 720, now under, clicking the button and I'm short 4,000 shares. 710, 20 in my opinion, the point of no return, we'll wait and see a little bit later. Now let's take a look at uh, my second trade. My second trade was Riot. Riot is trending higher but stock is down 7%. You don't usually see me go long a stock that is down 7% but I'm about to do that. If it moves over 41.80 watch the sellers 41.70 something about to move over 41.80 and I'll click that button assuming right now I'm long assuming it's going to go over the highs which is 42. So I'm going to fast forward it so you will see what uh, what what did happen in Riot. The reason I went long Riot is kind of complicated you know the cryptocurrency came down very strong over the weekend. I believe fundamentally thinking most people buy cryptos after they came down. I'm expecting uh, cryptos to move higher and I'm expecting Riot which has to do with crypto direction to move higher as well. As you can see it is moving higher right now. So uh, Riot is moving higher, cryptos are moving higher because I'm watching at the same time the Bitcoin chart. And at the beginning of the trading session today, exactly at that time, the Bitcoin was moving higher. And well, until the point where it reached my target, I just added another 4,000 shares, as you can see here, uh, over $42. It just moved to a new high and I'm getting ready for my partial, which is, I just touched the one point mark, a little bit less than that. Now, took my partial. I, I did spot some kind of a resistance at the high, so I took my partial at that point. Going back to Tesla. Now um, I did short Tesla earlier, it was kind of going sideways. Now I'm fast forwarding so you can see what happened uh, to Tesla later. I was waiting or hoping for a breakdown under the lows and just touched under the lows and here we go, a new low in Tesla. Now watch this beautiful move, I'm already up like 14 grand right now and I'm about to take my partial because at that point it reached my target. A little bit concerned for a pullback, took my partial right here, left 400 shares and well, Tesla really continued to come down later so in fact I had a very nice uh, continuation with the last 400 shares but anyway that was a nice trade. Now take a look at PTON also a big gap down but this one moved higher quite a bit. Now I'm, I'm quite concerned about it because it's trending higher uh, quite a lot. I'm about to short it over here now I'm short 4,000 shares. Well I don't, I'm not really in love with that pattern mainly because the fact that it moved up a little bit too much but I do have a good risk reward ratio so if, if it's going to move higher just over 112 something so I'm going to have like a 1 point, 1 1.20 stop loss which is kind of okay with PTON and I'll, I'll be expecting to make a little bit more. The problem was that PTON came down, it did come down but it was kind of you know losing direction here and uh, stopped you, you see it soon uh, kind of hesitating to continue lower and at that point I decided that I should have my my partial in P2N. Well it's still coming down it's looking well I'm up over three grand right now but I am getting ready to take my partial because I believe that at that point it's kind of lost the direction. And here we go at that point I took my partial I've got 400 shares left well it did continue to come down. Anyway, if you like this uh, video so far, how about giving us a thumb up? It really helps my, our channel. We would love if you could support us. So thank you for that. Now, here comes SQ. Well, at that point, I already had uh, a few green trades and I was a little bit concerned because again, SQ was uptrending. I'm shorting here 2,000 shares. As you can see, it's a big, big mover. So smaller size, half my usual size. Because I'm a little bit concerned, well, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit invisible at that point and, I, and, and that's a very dangerous feeling. And SQ, of course, is very volatile. I just didn't want to give up on my profits. But uh, it's coming down very nicely here and I'm getting ready to cover 1800 shares out of my 2000. And anyway, that was a really beautiful trade as you can see here. It keeps moving, moving nicely, just took my partial and that was just another green trade for me. So again, that was a gap and go because it's, it was down 3% and went down. Now I've got at this point four green trades and as you can see here I'm up 2400, 900, 
$24,900. So a great start for my trading session for, I mean, it's Monday for my week. And I really appreciate you for watching this. Um, and if again, if you want to support us, give us a thumb up. That will help our channel. And if you do want to watch more day trading videos and uh, be notified of my future uploads, there is a subscribe button right over here, which you can uh, click on. And uh, there's a lot of links right here below. If you want to uh, join us in our live sessions or get a lot of free education materials, there's lots of links right here below. We will really appreciate if you take a look at that. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Stay green and safe.